this is Ibrahim Muqtad and I'm back again uh, in this tutorial I'm going to you know uh, hopefully I'll be able to create a series where we n investigate OpenCV so that we'll know we will create great things with OpenCV OpenCV is an incredible library it's, uh, it has many uh, state-of-the-art algorithms uh, however as we proceed down the line we'll be able to, to do some great stuff with it for now let's start step by step let's start simple and then grow complicated and grow to create complex systems so first of all uh, before you do anything you will have to import CV2 there you go and then um, as a simple application let us first uh, create say let's load an image and uh, I have prepared an image I put an image in the roots of where I'm going to where I'm uh, putting this code this image is basically an old image of a laptop of an old laptop it's called laptop 2 jpeg so what we are going to do we want to load this using OpenCV open it in an OpenCV window and then close it uh, the, the benefit of this is that once, once we load an image in a variable using OpenCV we can do anything with it we can play around with the colors with the transparency we can change main things add things to it draw some stuff on it and so on and so forth now for now for this basic step let us just import the image again the image is in the root of where the code is residing so I'm going to store the image in a variable first of all let us tell CV2 the library to load the image using to load the image using the method image read I am read and then I need to supply in the path uh, it is basically called laptop to the JPEG like so and then I close the tag and then the image will contain now some sort of um, kind of vectors and you know representation of the image um, well let's let's print that and see how it looks like yeah um, after we now the image is stored in the variable img now we know to dis well, now we need to display it in a new window by doing so using the method image show like so and then we need to give a title to the to the window say we, we name it um, first image first image like so maybe or maybe first img this would be the title of the window and then I'm going to give it the, the image variable that we loaded the image to now this should be okay however there's something very important missing we need to add now this is added almost every time wait with a capital key and then zero if, if it, this is not specified the image will not be loaded it's it's just there and then we will tell it to show it but wait for a key to be pressed to close now this basically means close it whenever a key is pressed um, basically this one means just wait for any key to be pressed and this one destroy oh yeah destroy destroy how am I spelling this destroy capital O window is camel notations destroy all windows so if you want to destroy a specific window we can specify the name here but in our case we are only utilizing one window right here so we'll just close all windows on key press I'm going to go ahead first of all I'm going to save this one as let's say OpenCV one underscore test let's go ahead and run it oh I got it here and this this is the shell we've got and this is the image that's been loaded so you can see the title here if we show on this, this see we've named it first IMG so this is the title this is the image laptop to the JPEG I've just showed you the image a while ago and then uh, this is when we print the image this is pretty much the representation of what's stored in the variable this is the image representation you can see these are pretty much you know numbers you can think of um, the representation of the colors and so on. So now let's press any key. We tell it to wait for any key. I'm going to press any key on the keyboard. And that's it. It's been closed. So basically that's it. It's very simple to load something. 
to load an image. Now there is uh, for the image rate there are several flags you can plug in into this method which are basically if you want to load it using grayscale or lose the, lose the transparency and so on and so forth. There are basically three um, three flags or three extra parameters you can add um, in here one of which is basically cv2 and then dot image read capital letter and then we can call it uh, color so this basically ignores the, uh, the transparency and such we don't have any trans so we save and run and here is the image and then we can also load it in gray scale color let's change this to gray scale like so this will load the image in gray scale and then save it and run it a 5 and there is the image on the other window I think the colors are not very clear because the image is actually grayish. Let's load in. Uh, let's load a colorful image and see. Now, okay. Let me load an image. Another image. So I'm going to use this image, <coughs> banana, and uh, let's see how it works. And I'll change here to use banana. Banana. So, to save a five, and there you go. It's grayscale. Um, let's take it back to read color, color. To save in a five. There's the original image. So yeah, um, another thing worth mentioning is basically let's close these and let's close this one say for example um, if we had an image that does not exist in uh, the or the path was uh, faulty or that the image did not exist in that given path now this one should contain a none so let's verify this now if this one is none if img is none if img is none print object does not exist like so and then if else we want to show the image and show the output like so and then when we save the image we would want to run and then like so you see the output is none and the object does not exist so if this object was not found we will simply return none like so and that's it. So basically, it's very simple to load an image. And uh, in the next tutorials, we'll be looking at how to add some extra funny things. Or oh, let's uh, add an extra layers of drawings of the image using OpenCV. Thank you for watching.